Hello and welcome to the first video in my Unity 5 Health Bar tutorial series. This series or this tutorial will work with Unity 5 and higher um, and it's actually a remake of the first tutorial that I ever made which was a health bar tutorial made in Unity 4.6 beta. And because it's made in a beta version um, there is a lot of things that have been updated since then so I figured that it was time to actually do a remake of that tutorial or not even a remake but an improved version of that tutorial um, because I have learned a lot since I made that tutorial. Um, it's one and a half year since I made it um, and it has a hundred thousand views almost right now so I think that it's time to um, do an updated version of that so that it stays current and so that you guys can keep following my tutorials and implement stuff in in your games um, when you're using the newest versions of Unity. So this is an optimized version of that uh, old tutorial that I created um, which means that it will be more uh, useful and we will be writing less code than we did in the original series. Uh, so that's good. I've tried to create this uh, tutorial so that you can take uh, the health bar that you create from here and apply it to any game uh, in Unity, both 2D and uh, 3D games of course. So let's take a look at what we will be able to do. As you can see here on my screen I have three different bars. I have a health bar, some kind of energy bar and a shield bar. So the health and the energy bar are, are the same. The difference is simply just the, the color here and the icon that is attached to them. So you can see I have made some uh, sample code that will reduce my health by pressing a button and heal me by pressing another button. So you can see here if I click on the game here and start reducing my health then the bar goes down uh, smoothly here and I can also increase my health. Um, and of course we can't gain more health than our max, max health and we can't go below zero here as you can see. Also the text here reflects um, reflects the bar uh, or the, the, the current amount of health right here. Um, so this is the exact value. You can of course also change this if you want percentage instead of the actual value uh, left here. And as you can see here below the same goes for our energy bar here. It also goes up and down depending on the actual value that that we have right now. And this is very adaptive. You can take it and put it in any game you have. Uh, it can reflect your mana, your health, your energy, your shield um, and so on. And progress towards um, experience and so on. It's basically up to you what you want to want to do with it. Okay, the last bar here is almost the same as the others but there is an extra feature applied to it. Uh, there is a color change feature applied to it which means that it will loop from a start color to another color when it goes uh, towards the bottom uh, value. For example if you have a health bar you have green health when you have full health and then it turns into a reddish color when it goes towards the end. So you can see here if I reduce my health it goes more towards like loads towards red and the end it's, it's totally red my shield. And when it goes up it becomes more green. So I've added the functionality for choosing two colors that this uh, bar will lurk between when it starts and when it ends. So these are basically the things that we'll be doing. Um, maybe I will also show later how to create an experience bar from this. Um, but for now it, it's simply just a bar that reflects a value and I'll be focusing on creating the health um, part of it. So besides that, if you like the sprites I have here and you're interested in acquiring them, you can do this in two different ways. You can support me on Patreon. If you do so, you will be able to gain access to all the projects that I've created for my tutorials. So you can simply go there and download any projects, any sprites or any assets belonging to any of my tutorials. Um, and of course, I will keep uploading new um, stuff there every time I create something new. Uh, also, you will gain access to um, early releases and videos. So before I release them on YouTube, I often put them up there a few days before so that you can follow along there. Um, also, if you want to just get this single project with all the assets used in this project, um, all the files commented and all the sprites and everything, you can also do that by supporting me and clicking the link in the bottom here. Uh, if you do so, you can go to a page and get this project alone. Um, you can also find the links for this in the description below. Um, don't worry if you think, oh no, now I need to get these files to be able to follow along with the tutorial. No, not at all. You can simply use the primitives uh, in Unity and I'll also show you how to create them uh, real quick um, in the next part of this video. Um, but you can use the 2D primitives from Unity 
um, as um, as placeholders from all these bars here. So you will simply be using some simple square sprites and everything to create the bar. Um, but you will be able to follow along and use it. Um, but it's not going to look as good. But you will get the the general functionality for it and. Then of course later you can create your own assets and or get your own assets to to your own games. So I hope that um, this tutorial will interest you and that you will follow along and see how it goes.